Up to 30 million dead bony brim transformed the Darling River into a graveyard. These were the confronting scenes that greeted the Nimby locals after an autumn heatwave. Now, a cause. So what we've essentially found in a nutshell is that the mass fish death in the Nimby in March was caused by hypoxia. So the fish basically died because they ran out of oxygen. Scientists say fish kills are symptomatic of a poor river ecosystem and the emergency response was lacking. People are really doing their best when this happened. We're not here to beat people up over what happened, but there are definitely ways to improve that. Scientists have made four recommendations, including stronger environmental regulations, improved data, effective emergency management, and they've suggested some fixes. In the short term, you know, what we really need to do is ensure that there is sufficient oxygen in that part of the river. I think water quality getting a, a key mention in there is something that's been really definitely lacking in water sharing plans, and, and that's good to see that's been uh, important for the whole But with signs of yet another warm summer ahead, locals are sceptical of change. It's something that haven't reported on actually carrying out the findings. While the executive summary findings and recommendations have been released today, this isn't the full picture. There will still be several more weeks before the full report is made public. If these are not apocalyptic scenes, what are they?